Hello. In order for us to get these videos out to countries who are not allowed to carry a Bible, please subscribe, then click the bell to be notified for the next video study or news at UN Him Ministries on YouTube or Pamela Gunderson on Facebook so that our brothers and sisters in Christ will, will have the opportunity to hear the gospel, be saved, healed, and delivered. Hello, Hello this is Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. Welcome, saints and church, believers and unbelievers, and anyone who wants to read through the Bible in a year. We are specifically reading through the Bible with the daily manna, but we're right now targeting the book of Acts, and so we're in chapter four. I will give you the daily manna readings right now, and they are Job chapter 26, verses 1 through 14, Psalms chapter 96, verses 11 through 13, Proverbs chapter 23, verses 10 through 12, and Romans chapter 15, verses 25 through 33 for August the 17th on Wednesday of 2022. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, go ahead and go into the book of Acts, uh, chapter 14. Let me share my screen. Chapter 14, Proverbs 23, uh, with verse 32. 9. We're coming to the and end Romans of this 15, chapter. Chapter 15, my glasses 1 through 24. <laughs> okay, the believers share their possessions. All the believers were united in heart and mind, and they felt that what they owned was not their own, so they shared everything they had. Okay. As far as the tithe is concerned, the 10% of what you earn, what, you, what uh, your increase is, and that salary, giftings, or whatever, is not your own. 10% of that is the Lord's. So anyone who wants to uh squawk about that is wrong scripturally 10 percent is not yours you give that back to the lord and then you give your offering according to the way that the lord speaks to you about an offering uh we just got a prophecy from a young lady that i do not know that well however i am getting uh, a positive in my spirit that what she's saying part of it is the truth and that is, if you want God to help you, you need to invest in the kingdom of heaven. And that is at the place where you worship and attend church and worship the Lord. If you're not attending church, then you probably are off a little bit. Because if you think that you're not part of the body of Christ and you are a lone wolf going off somewhere by yourself. See, these people are all together. They did not consider everything that was theirs that they owned. They shared. And this is what's coming in the coming days we are going to have to as christians as the body of christ share uh we have just learned that the social security is now calling itself a benefit this is not a benefit we earned this money while we worked and they stole much of it and now they're saying it's a benefit a benefit to who it's a benefit to uh the people in power we earned this money. It was ours. And a lot of people do not have any type of uh, income to rely on other than their Social Security. We need to knock on uh, Senate and Congress's door and tell them to put the wording back. This is not a benefit. You are not giving us anything. We earned this. Okay. Then we give back to God. They're stealing from God. They're stealing from God by stealing from us that we cannot give out. Our children and grandchildren will reap this if we allow this to continue. Anyway, let's go back to the screen. Verse 32, the apostles testified powerfully to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and God's great blessing upon them all. There were no needy people among them because those who owned land or houses, houses would sell them and bring the money to the apostles to give to those in need. 
for instance, there was Joseph, the one the apostles nicknamed, nicknamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He was from the tribe of Levi and came from the island of Cyprus. He sold a field he owned and brought the money to the apostles. Tomorrow, we're going to learn about how another couple made a big mistake. Or it will be in chapter five, I believe. So let me uh, look at this real closely. I don't want to go in this to today because I've already made my point, the point that I believe the Lord. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Uh, the Lord wants to make a point with each and one, every one of these daily readings. And uh, by me reading God's oracles, he wants to pick out and show you a principle. I want, And I don't want to get it so big that you cannot understand. If our government is robbing us of what we earned, we cannot give back to God or our children or our grandchildren what it is that we earned. The way that they stole this money from us, from what I understand, we should have each of us a million or more on deposit by it earning money. They didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't invest the money. They stole it and used it for other programs. Our money should have been accumulating wealth. Well, if there's going to be a wealth transfer down the line to the Christians, Make sure you're one of the ones that's been investing in God's work and, and the kingdom of heaven for you to expect that type of wealth of transfer and according to what you've been giving. But we gave the government out of every one of our paychecks money and they didn't invest it for us. They stole it. Get this straight. They stole it. There are other things as we go through the scriptures but we must forgive them, keep our hearts right in front of the Lord, continue sharing with your brothers and sisters as they have in need. Uh, a brother came to me today uh, that uh, uh, was going to be in trouble with his business, and he asked me to help him. Am I to say no? He needs that business in order to survive. And his word, I take his word that it will be paid back over a period of two or three months. And so that is the way we deal with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Anyway, my name is Pam Gunderson. I am the host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian News. And there will be the opportunity for salvation for those who have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Times are going to get tough. Times are going to get dark. And if you want to be in safety, you will need the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You're not going to be able to depend on the government or even yourself other than doing, making the wise decision in Christ. Okay, I will see you on the other, actually, how do I do this? On the other side, this way. Amen. If you're going God to bless. a place that does not believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I personally would suggest that you get up and go to a house of God that does. There is a new book. Let's see if I can bring it up right now. There's a new book that's just come out called Speaking in Tongues, a multidisciplinary defense by Timothy Lorito. And the foreword is by Rick DuBose. Now, I don't want to talk denomination, but uh, I definitely, uh, uh, the um, EISBN number on that book is 978-1-6667-1389-3. I will plan to put the cover of this book on this uh, broadcast. I believe that this is possibly a book that is important. I've read, I'll give you some of the chapters of it. Let me pull it up. 
So let me go to the table of contents. So, uh, so chapter one is Luke's theology of speaking in tongues. Then we have the Pauline theology of speaking in tongues, a practical theology perspective of speaking in tongues, a social science perspective of speaking in tongues, and uh, a historical perspective of speaking in tongues, and a multidisciplinary perspective of speaking in tongues. Let me look and see if uh, Acts 4 is in here. Uh, yes. And he says, for example, the Lucan record, Lucan, that means Luke's record depicts the spirit working in to reveal in Luke 2.26 as a guide in Luke 4.1, giving power in Luke 4.14, Acts 1 through 8, to anoint Luke 4, verse 18, and to teach in Luke 12.12, 12, and to speak in Acts 4.25, and that's where we are, Acts 4.25. So let's go back to Acts 4.25. Uh, let's go back to Acts 4.25. We just got through reading that. You spoke long ago by the Holy Spirit through our ancestor David, your servant, saying, why were the nations so angry? Why did they waste their time with feudal plans? I believe this book for any ministry or for this ministry is a good book to have in your bookcase as a uh, possible uh, up and coming theologian or preacher or minister. If and so I anyone today, that has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, if I have not scared you into repentance or common sensed you into repentance, I will be more than happy to say, let's see, what am I doing here? Uh, I don't think I can minimize this. No, I cannot minimize it. So I have to move it down. You can still see me, but I can't see you. Well, I can't see you anyway. But I finally found the simple salvation prayer. I don't have to grasp for it. Anyway, it's as easy as A, B, C. The Lord wants you saved. And so do I. A means that you are admitting that you've sinned. We've all sinned. I'm a born-again Christian. I sin and have to repent on a daily basis. B but that, but I've already welcomed Christ into my life as well as the Holy Spirit. You're doing this for the first time. He stays with you. He will never leave you. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and C, confess him as your savior. If you'll say this prayer out loud with a sincere heart and mean it and repent, I believe in Heavenly Father. I admit that I have sinned. I repent. I believe in my heart you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Right now, I receive your forgiveness, Jesus, by your blood. I am saved in Jesus' name. And we all said amen. And right now, if you prayed that prayer in the comment section below, right here, where you see that little carrot mark, open that up, then... Uh, do say I did, then go to youandhimministries.com and tell us in the email section or chat section at the bottom of that website that you got saved. Then you can ask for a Bible or a Bible-believing church, ask for help, just and give we, us what it is that you need, way. our prayer requests. Also, you can call me at 833-726-8255. Eight two five five or eight three three Pam Talks. My email address is Pam at you and him ministries dot com. Pam at you and him dot info. The mailing address is eight hundred East Wishcost Street, Suite two thirteen, Aberdeen, Washington, nine eight five two zero. And you will see the credits while I'm over here. You will also see the credits at the end of the video. 
Now, at the very end, what I like to do is do a benediction, which is found in Jude chapter 1, verses 24 through 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. And since you are now saved, may the, the Lord the light of the Lord shine upon you. May his face shine upon you. May you get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Get into a Bible-believing church and immediately get baptized. Receive his Holy Spirit. Receive that power. Be in his will. Do what he says. Some of you, he'll hear him speak to you right away. Some of you, uh, we all have different anointings and giftings, which we're born with. And so he will give you yours. He will tell you what it is that he wants you to do. He will bless you. He will never leave you. He says, I will never leave you. Once you accept him and don't turn your back on him if, and don't, because something doesn't happen right away. Sometimes things take years. A word that God speaks to you may take years. He can show you a picture, and that picture will not show up for years, or it could show up just like that instantly. Don't put God on a timetable. Okay? Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Stop the fear. We're not telling you to prepare out of fear. We're telling you to prepare out of wisdom. Okay? Sound mind and wisdom. Look around you of what's going on. Don't let anybody talk you out of good sense. Okay? Anyway, I'm Pamela Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries, Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. And if you liked this video, please like and share and then click the bell and you'll be notified for the next video i wish you a blessed day please be saved be healed and be delivered and praise god that my knee is healing by every means that god has made possible for me at least at this point without surgery that his hand is on me and his hand is on you if you are a child of God, and that only happens if you accept him as Christ your Savior. Amen and amen.